this is a bad way to write a movie about school shooting. To me, this is a bad way how to write it. So, this movie came out in 2020. It's called Run, Hide, Fight. This is produced by a company called The Daily Wire, which is by a conservative named Ben Shapiro. Now, there's things I agree with him with mostly, and other times I don't agree with him. I just find his voice to be very cringe. I, I don't know. I just... He's a, he's, a, he's a very smart guy. It's just that his voice just makes me cringe a little bit. But he produced this film. He wanted to show people what it's like to survive a school shooting, how to defend yourself, this and that. But this movie is a bad way of how to protect yourself from school shootings and etc. Because... I feel like I was watching a Die Hard film that is in high school. This is a Die Hard... This is Die Hard in high school, basically. That's the whole film's about. I feel like this director named Kyle Ranklin took it from Die Hard and turned into some kids bullshit, but it's rated R. That's why I feel like he got it from, basically. I did really enjoy the actress, the main girl, you've seen the thumbnail. Isabel May. She's a very underrated actress. You know, I really enjoyed her as the main lead. And she has a bright future ahead of her, you know. She plays very, very well in this role. Very attractive lit girl. I really enjoyed Thomas Jane here. He plays her father. You remember him from the movie The Punisher from 2004. He does a really good job in that film also. I really enjoyed him in there also. But, man, everything else is just... God, God Jesus Christ. Like I said, this, this is Die Hard in High School. is. She's basically a female John McClane. Her dad's a professional, you know, she was he was in the army. He's really good at sniping, this and that. Because the movie starts off, they're hunting, you know, killing, you know, shooting these deers, stuff like that, you know, for lunch or dinner or whatever it is. I do like a taste of deer to be fair. I used to eat it a long time ago. Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> then he keeps, she keeps seeing a ghost of her mom who had cancer and she died of cancer. She have, have see her as a ghost and she talks to her and this and that. Tell her to like stand up for herself. I don't know. I feel like this is very unre unrealistic. Every, every time she her mom pops up to talk to her, it just seems very unrealistic to me. Well, anyways. Then school starts. Uh, oh yeah, the, the black kid picks her up. The black kid... It's from a show called, I think it was Bel Air. It's the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air remake show. He plays her friend, you know, the glasses, black of the glasses. She plays her best friend, and he wants to go to the prom with her. I, I hate the prom. Prom sucked. High school sucks. And, yeah. And he wants to go to the prom with her. He, she's like, she don't know if she, she actually wants to or not. Because she's not really into that type of stuff, which I, I can understand. Prom's is fucking corny. And all these other kids being asked to prom, I was like, I don't really give a fuck. It's stupid. Prom's corny. All these go about prom when you fuck. That's it. That's all good about it. Then while suddenly a fucking van crashes into fucking school and they shoot a bunch of these kids, and one kid gets run over by a fucking van. They shot one Chinese girl, and the Chinese girl runs in the bathroom, uh, grabbing onto uh, the blonde and white girl, uh, Isabel May's character, like a zombie. Like, like, oh my god, she's so stupid. So, this curly haired kid is like the main bad guy, and he has this girl that, that works for him, and this big doofy looking dude in his dorky nerd glasses, like big curly fro. And. They're gonna, you know, start some shit, you know, fucking make a teacher uh, strip her shirt off, show her titties, this and that. I think he fucks her or something. Like I said, this movie's like a bad way how they portray the school shooting. They made it too much like Die Hard. They said just come up with their own ideas with this whole film. I don't think Kyle Ranklin know what the hell he's doing. I don't think that guy even do it. did that much for fucking movies, to be fair. I think it's Kyle Rankin, or I don't fucking care. Rankin, Rankin, I don't fucking care. 
Like, these movies I've never heard of before. Look at this. The Witch Files, Infestation, Night of the Living Deb. Like, what the fuck are those? No, this, this guy's a nobody. He just came out of nowhere just to make a movie. Not a nobody. Like I said, this movie was... Oh, well, actually, it was distributed by The Daily Wire. Yeah, like I said, I don't mind Ben Shapiro, but his, his voice is very annoying. I'm sorry. It's just his noise is just very... just hurts my ears. But he's a very smart dude. It's just that, like I said, his voice is irritating. But anyways... Yeah, it's fucking... This movie is just fucking... It's the same shit like Die Hard. Another thing about, about this being the same shit like Die Hard... Isabella May's character, she ends up getting her leg fucked up and she starts uh, limping a lot. Just like what happened with John McClane where he gets, you know, uh, gets glass stuck in his foot and he can't really walk now. He's barely can walk. He got glass stuck in his foot and he's like, he's like barefoot. And another thing that, uh, what's her name is, like I said, Isabel May's character, she ends up climbing, climbing the fucking vent. Just like John McClane. It's the same shit like John McClane. The main character, uh, the, the bad guy kid, he smokes a cigarette. Just like the bad guy in Die Hard, he smokes a cigarette, you know? It's all the same shit. This, this asshole directed the film and fucking wrote it. Just, just took it off at Die Hard and put it in this, make it like a high school Die Hard. And all these people are like praising it. Oh, this is a great film. Wow, this is amazing. All these, pe all these uh, people are like, what are you talking about, dude? This shit sucks. It's just a remake of Die Hard, but it's in high school. It's like an hour and 49 minutes of fucking boredom. This is... I just don't like this movie, man. I, I watch a lot... Of, I'm a big action hero guy. Not a big action hero. I'm a, I'm a big action guy, but this is like one of the worst action films I've ever seen in my life. Ugh. Ooh, excuse me. I'm just not really that big on this film. Well, not at all, because it sucks. To make it even more unrealistic, having her mom pop out of nowhere as a ghost makes it even more this movie more unrealistic. I swear to God, every time I see her mom pops up in this fucking movie as a ghost, it makes it more unrealistic. And like there's scenes where she got the, the dorky nerdy kid with a gun, and he got her um, cuffed to the chair or something like that, and he ends up turning turning to good good guy again on her side, and she go against the other two, this and that. Uh, Thomas Jane uh, fucking snipes one of the kids with a with a sniper rifle. The cops come stop him. They're doing more. Uh, what else? Fucking Isabel May's character saves a bunch of these saves a bunch of uh, the teacher and these students and gets them outside. Oh god! Like I said, this is die hard. This is fucking die hard. And nobody sees it but just me. I'm like the only one I guess to see this is like fucking die hard. Like this movie's so fucking corny. I don't even have that much to talk about because it's the same shit like die hard. What else is me to talk about about this fucking review? You know, it's supposed to be about about, be about school shooting, how to stop school shooting, how to prevent from this shit from happening. Uh, how about you bring fucking metal detectors to school or something? Uh, to have higher security guards. How about you do that? Fucking clowns. No, we 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 have to save money. We don't, we don't care about children. It's fucking retarded. It's the same shit. It's just like I said. I really enjoy Isabella May as an actress. She's very underrated. She has a bright future ahead of her, you know. And she's uh, she's very attractive. But this fucking movie. Like I said, it's just the same shit. Like, Die Hard. I just saw sitting and watching this shit. I'm like, come on, dude. This is so lame. I mean, I don't mind the gory scenes in here. I mean, that's cool. It's just that I, I've been watching this type of movie before. It's the same thing like all those other movies I watched before. It's like, it's the same bullshit. Oh, yeah. Uh, Treat Williams plays the sheriff in this movie. He plays, uh, plays the uh, cop. Treat Williams has been in like a lot of movies since the 70s. You know, he's a really good actor. It's great to see him in here, but like I said, fuck this movie. This movie's fucking stupid. It's fucking die hard all over again. What's it, high school? Come on with this bullshit. Be original.